What's up everybody, I am Jaspreet Singh and welcome to the Minority Mindset. The new year is almost here and that means three things. People are getting their New Year's resolution gym memberships, so gyms across the country are going to be packed for the first two weeks of January, the winter holidays are almost here, and final exams are around the corner. I'm in my second to last semester in law school, finally, and this semester was one of the busiest for me. I had a bunch of law school classes and requirements to finish so I can graduate in May. I'm volunteering slash working with the free legal clinic here in Detroit where we help domestic violence victims that cannot afford an attorney. And third, I'm getting ready to launch the Minority Mindset publication in 2018. Woo! And now it's time for the best or the worst part of all, final exams. <sighs> so the way law school works is we don't really have quizzes or midterms or papers or things like that. We only have one graded assignment and that's our final exam. So it's worth 100% of our grade. And a lot of times that final exam is only two questions long. But these questions aren't simple yes or no questions. Sometimes they'll be five or six or seven or eight pages long and then you'll have three or four hours to finish your exam. So 99% of people will tell you that I should be spending my time studying for my partnership tax exam, which is in a couple of days or something like that but we do things differently around here and the minority mindset family comes first here's the thing i'm not just going to law school so i can get a law degree and work as an attorney no if you're an entrepreneur or if you want to do something different there's a right way and there's a wrong way to do it like i've said if you're working a job to make money you're doing it wrong or if you're going to college just to get that degree you're doing it wrong. So if I fail my exams, which I really hope I don't, my life is gonna go on like normal because I'm not relying on my law degree. But that does not take away from the fact that exams suck. But it sucks even more if you have to spend your time to study for something that's really not adding any value into your life. Okay, yeah, I started law school just to make my mom happy, but at least there's ways that I can use my law degree as an entrepreneur. But something that I don't really understand is if you're trying to get a degree, why are you required to take so many general education requirements if they're not really related to what you're trying to do in life? Is it because classes like demystifying the hipster are super important to society and to grow us as people? Or is it because universities are running a monopoly and you have no other choice but to pay something like $2,500 for a four credit class like that? No, they wouldn't do that to me, would they? Look, unlike a lot of entrepreneurs, I think there's a lot of value in college, especially if you do it the right way. I've already made a video on this and I'll link it in the caption below if you want to watch it. Or if you want to be a professional like a doctor or an accountant or an engineer, you have to go to college. There's no other way around it. But let's look at this objectively. You need what, like 120 credits to graduate and get a bachelor's degree here in America? Out of those 120 credits, you need on average between 30 to 36 credits to get your major. That means you still have 84 to 90 credits or the vast majority of your college credits left to graduate. I don't know, that uh, seems kind of crazy, but let's look at the university's argument. They say that these general education requirements make you a well-rounded student and they teach you different things that you wouldn't really learn otherwise. Okay, that's a fair argument. I agree that learning and education is super important no matter what you want to do and I don't think we should ever stop learning. And it's important to know how to read and write and know basic math and understand different cultures and just know what's happening in the world. I mean, I've seen my fair share of ignorant people in real life and on YouTube. But you're spending three times more credit hours and three times more money on general education requirements than you are for your major. That means that on average, students are paying like $50,000 for these general education requirements when a lot of that time is just spent sleeping in these classes. Oh man, that's an expensive nap. We're told that these classes will help students become more successful in life, but how many people really remember all the general education requirements that they took? So why not cut the general education requirements in half? But wait, no Jaspreet, we need students to be well-rounded in a lot of different subjects. Well, for one, if that's the case, it's not doing a very good job. And two, is it really bad if someone is really good at one thing and average at the rest? I mean, that's why we go to doctors for medical help and not for tutoring on our English homework. It's the same pitch that people make when they say that you need to diversify your stock portfolio. Well, first off, buying a whole bunch of different stocks is not real diversification. If the stock market crashes, you're gonna lose. It doesn't matter how many sectors you invested in, but I'll save this for a different investing video. Just remember what Warren Buffett said, diversification doesn't make sense 
if you know what you're doing. Yeah, sure, you might limit your losses on the bottom, but you also limit your top earning potential, so you end up average. And guess what college is producing? Again, this does not mean that college is horrible. Pay attention to what I'm saying. It's not what you know that matters. It's what you do with what you know. So what do you think? Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up button and share this video with one friend so we can help spread the word. Don't miss our new videos on entrepreneurship, business, and money every single week. So hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you know when our videos are released. And as always, keep hustling.